This is the Dog Walk Chronicles. It's the Feast of St. Hospitus of St. St. Something Hospitus. Okay, I forgive me, Saint. I, I didn't get his name right. Um, I found this one. It had some interesting things, and I just wanted to tell you about him. He was uh, lived in the 500s. Would you stop? And Toby, will you stop? Jeez. You're a pig. He was a hermit. Ah, he wore a chain around his feet, I guess, uh, to remind him of, uh, I don't know what, really, just to, to commiserate with Christ's suffering, I, I suppose. I forget what it said. He ate nothing but bread and dates, and at Lent, he didn't even eat that. In 575, he predicted an invasion of Gaul by the Lombards. Later, a Lombard patrol found him and thought he was some kind of a criminal because he was in chains. So they didn't know what to make of him. And one of the soldiers decided he was a threat in some way and raised his sword to kill the man, to kill St. Hospitus. And uh, he was instantly, his arm was paralyzed. When St. Hospitus um, made the sign of the cross over his arm, he was healed and the man was instantly converted. And... Uh, devoted himself to Christ the rest of his life. Hospitus predicted his own death, which a lot of saints are able to do that for some reason. I'm not sure why that would be. I guess it would give people a chance to visit a holy person. And anytime we're near someone holy, it, it's a good example. There was uh, one of the saints I read, what was it about being holy? Someone, what was that? Uh, something about, he was the only holy, I don't know. Anyway, we, we want to be around someone holy. We want to, there's something naturally beautiful about someone who's closer to God. Just like if Jesus was here, we'd want to be near Jesus if we have an open heart. If we have a, if our heart is of stone, if our heart is closed, then we, we won't be open to recognizing Jesus. But people recognize this guy as, as a holy man. Anyway, and so maybe when, when you know that you're going to die, people can come to visit you and get those last words of encouragement or wisdom. Or, yeah, that would help to move you along in your, in your road towards Christ. So he was able to predict his death. He took off his chains and he just uh, stayed there in prayer until he died. And died in prayer. I mean, wouldn't want to go that way. That seems like a good way to go. There's that woodpecker. Or a woodpecker. Where is it? On that tree that is to the right of the car. But he's probably going now. Anyway, St. Hospitus. De San Hospitus. Hospitus of Hospitus. Uh died after 575 because that's when the Lombards came and were going to kill him. Uh, what else? And I just thought that was interesting that he ate nothing but bread and dates, which, you know, that's not filling, but at least it's something. And then not even that during Lent. So let's ask St. Hospitus and St. Bernardine of Siena and St. Columba of whatever her, wherever she was from yesterday. I forget. What was that? Uh-oh, did we just have a car crash? And Saint, that sounded like a giant car crash. Uh, and who was the other saint that we already talked about today? Saint Godric of Franchelle. Let's ask them all to pray for us. And let's pray for the souls in purgatory. And please pray for the conversion of uh, North and South and Central America. Uh, that would be an example to the world. You know, that could, that could actually work. We could actually do that. If there could be, God can do that. And it, and it might be spurred along. If God wants it, so desires it, we could work along with that idea, with that plan and pray for that. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do that. So yeah, do that.